Hey guys, it's Jaylon. Welcome or welcome back. I'm here today to share with you an introduction for this year's 100 Colorful Empties. I am so excited. So excited. This is a project that was created by Haley, who is Haley0614 on Instagram several years ago. I don't know for sure if she's doing this project this year. She did it for several years and then just kind of ran out of items to continue the project, project which is awesome for her. I obviously have enough to do this project. So the way this project works is you have 10 different color families and for each color family you bring in 10 items. You can choose whichever 10 colors you would like to work on for the year. I can tell you my colors are red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, pink, white, brown, and black. So last year I did silver. I switched that out this year and I'm doing white instead. I think, it, no, I'm sorry, brown instead. I did white, I did white last year and this year I'm doing brown this year. That's the difference. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to share with you the 100 items that I have pulled for this project. I will be able to roll these items into other projects throughout the year. So they're not only of only like subsiding in this project. Subsiding is not the right word, but you know, they're not only going to live in this project. They are product products that I can kind of dole out to other projects depending on what the prompt is and if it makes sense. I think I'm going to try not to use any of these in any of my year long projects, but for anything that's prompt based, I am free to roll any of the stuff in. The other caveat is that I can change some of these things out. So if one item doesn't work for me or if I lose it or it breaks on me or something, I can rotate those things out and roll something else instead. The other thing is that like last year there was one item where I, there was no way I was going to finish it. So I rolled it out and I rolled in a product that I knew that I could finish to get the 10, 10 products out for that particular color, that particular color family. So this is going to be a long video. Grab a drink because I'm going to go over these hundred items. I'm just going to show them to you. I'm not going to go into details about them. I'm going to start with the color red. And the other thing I'll say, I have a bin over here that I'm going to throw everything in because then I'll step. Well, actually, I'm going to grab another one so I can put makeup in one section and skincare and body care in another. I don't have a ton of makeup items in this project, but I do have some. So you'll probably hear some clattering about. <laughs> Starting off with red again, 10 items from each color family. I actually have two of these. This is by Clarins, the total eye lift. One's a bit bigger than the other. This is seven mils and this is three mils. <laughs> so I want to use both of those. From pharmacy, I have the, this is a, I have, and I forgot to mention this, but I did try to add more full sizes this year. So you'll see a couple of full sizes in here. This is one. This is by pharmacy, the Cheer Up Brightening Vitamin C Eye Cream. From Peter Thomas Roth, I have the Glycolic Retinol Resurfacing Serum. It's again, deluxe sample. This has, I don't know, five mils. From Clarins, I have the Rose Radiance Cream. This also is a deluxe size sample. It's got five mils. From SK2, I have the RNA Power Radical New Age Moisturizer. I have had this forever. It needs to get used. From Clarins, I have the Instant Smooth Perfecting Touch Primer. I think this is like kind of like the Tarte Smoothing Primer. Kind of reminds me of that. Yeah, we'll see how that works. And then lastly, for this color family, I have another full size. This is by Josie Marin. It's the Whipped Argan Oil Body Butter in Cranberry Splash. So those are all the red colors. No. Oh, I, I'm sorry. That was not it. I have two more. <laughs> by Burt's Bees, I have the Moisturizing Lip Balm in Pomegranate. And from Caudalie, I have the Vino Source Hydra SOS Intense Moisturizing Cream. So those are the 10 red items. I didn't mention this in my introduction, but I did want to mention it now. One of the things that I did this year that I did not do last year is I actually pulled all these 100 items and sorted them by color family. And then I went through and I sorted them by product type 
Because one thing I noticed last year is I had a ton of moisturizers in, which meant that I was using a ton of little mini moisturizers and I really didn't get to use a ton of full sizes. So I wanted to make sure I didn't have like 20 moisturizers in, face moisturizers in, and only like two serums or something. So I did that. And of course I did have a ton of moisturizers. So I pulled some stuff out and then I, you know, I, I was like, I need another orange or any another yellow and I went rooting through my stash to find stuff. So if you're doing this project, I highly recommend kind of making sure that you're not putting too much of one type of product in because you could be strapped at the end of the year trying to get it done because you're working on so many of the same product. I also know there are several other people doing this project. Well, I know of one other one. I know Valerie's doing this project. I don't know if anybody else is and I'm sorry if I get lipstick all over my face because I feel like I'm touching my face and it's red lipstick and it's going to get everywhere. Did I get it anywhere yet? No. <laughs> okay, enough of that. Moving on to orange. Now, orange and yellow can kind of look the same in terms of like stuff that I'm bringing in. So you may see some things that kind of look the same. For the first color, the first product for orange is a set of sheet masks by Esfolio. These are the Honey Essence sheet masks. There are seven here. I think I've used the other three like in other projects or, you know, on their own. If I find another one of these, I will add it to this set because I basically want to get these, this entire set out. And I think I only have seven left. So I want to finish these. The next item is by Sol de Janeiro. It's the Brazilian Kiss Cup Kupawachu Lip Butter. I think that's how you say that. I used one of these last year and I surprisingly liked it. I liked it more than I thought it would. So I want to use another one. From Ole Henriksen, I have the Sea Rush Brightening Gel Creme. I think this is a face moisturizer. From Pharmacy, I have the Green Clean Makeup Meltaway Cleansing Balm in Tangerine Twist. This was part of their holiday trio from this year. From Glow Recipe, I have another cleansing balm. This is the Papaya Sorbet Enzyme Cleansing Balm. From Kiehl's, I have the Ferulic Brew Rejuvenating Facial Essence. This is just a little five mil bottle. From Sol de Janeiro, I have the Brazilian Foreplay Moisturizing Shower Creme, wait, gel, cream gel, whatever. It's a body wash. <laughs> I love this product, but I don't want to pay the price. Another product by Sol de Janeiro, the Brazilian Boom Boom Cream. This is a mini, this has what, 24 mils? By Ren, I have the Glycol Lactic Radiance Renewal Mask. From Nest, I have the Seville Orange Perfume Oil. It's a little baby sample. And lastly for Orange by Clarins, I have their Lip Comfort Oil in Honey Glam. All right, moving on to yellow. I have from Shiseido the Benefiance Wrinkle Smoothing Cream. It's a moisturizer. Another moisturizer from It Cosmetics. I have the Confidence in a Cream I think they, they have a longer name for this. What is it? Transforming Moisturizing Super Cream. <sighs> I love this moisturizer. It's very lovely. This is a two ounce size, I think. Yeah, two ounces. This will take me a while to finish. It's so good. I have a couple of things from Sulwasu. I have the Essential Balancing Emulsion EX. These are little samples. And I have the Essential Balancing Water. So we're gonna use those two. From Costa Rex, I have the Advanced Snail 96 Mucin Power Essence. It's a little deluxe I sample. From La Satan, I have the Immortel Reset Oil Serum, I think is what this is. This is a really lovely product. Obviously, I'm going with the yellow down here. I have a hand cream by Philosophy. This is the Hands of Hope Hand Cream in Lemon Custard. I bet you this smells amazing. I'm hoping it smells amazing. Oh, it's sealed. I'm not going to open it. I'll report back. And lastly, I have from Burt's Bees, the Coconut and Pear Moisturizing Lip Balm. So this is the second of the Burt's Bees lip balms. I have a lot of lip balms and like lip products in this project in terms of like clear every day. It's going to, I'm a little worried, but I'm going to try to make it happen. Okay, that was all the yellow. Now moving on to green. From Bally Balm, I have the Pineapple Lip Scrub. From Fresh, I have the Vitamin Nectar Vibrancy Boost Boosting Face Mask. It looks like sample. It has 15 mils. From Herbivore, I have the Blue Tansy Resurfacing Clarity Mask. This, Even though it says Blue Tansy, it's green. And this may be a little older, to be honest. I did sniff it. Smell fine. 
From Fresh, I have the Tea Elixir Skin Resilience Activating Serum. A little deluxe eye sample. I just got this last year or this year. Well, I'm, re I'm recording this in 2022, so whatever. <laughs> I recently got this. <laughs> From ba Bath and Body Works, I have a Nourishing Hand Cream in White Citrus. Oh, I have had this forever. It needs to get used. Another hand cream from Lositon. I have the Delicious Hands Hand and Nail Care Cream. I have one more of the Philosophy Hands of Hope hand creams in green tea and avocado. I used one of these last year, this particular scent. From Pharmacy, I have the Green Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm in Pear Punch. Another one of those that came this year. As part of the trio from Kiehl's, I have the avocado nourishing hydration mask. I love this. This is a full size. Love this. It's so good. And lastly for green, I need to use these. The Spongel coconut blossom scent. These are these like body buffers. I don't, they don't take very long for me to use, but, and I have a stack of these that I need to use up. So I have a couple of these in this project. This is the first one in coconut blossom. I don't think you, it's all sealed. You can't smell. Okay, moving on to blue. From Drunk Elephant, I have the B Hydra Intensive Hydration Serum. I really do love this stuff. I would purchase a full size of this because it's lovely. From Herbivore, I have the Aquarius Pore Purifying Clarity Cream. We'll see how much I like that. Now this one is the product. This is a product that I could not find for my turn and burn project. So it's going to go in that. Or maybe I'll take it out of that and I'll put it in. I don't know. This is by Rituals. It's the Ritual of Karma Mild Body Scrub Paste. I was like, where is that product? It was in my bag for 100 Colorful Empties. That's why I couldn't find it. From Tatcha, I have the Deep Cleanse Cleanser. I don't like this product very much. I'm just trying to get through them. From First Aid Beauty, I have the Ultra Repair Cream, and I prefer to use this on my body, so that's how I will, how I will use this. It's lovely for like the KP on my arms. I like it's super hydrating, so that's how I will use this one. It will not be used on my face. From Herbivore, I have the Lapis Balancing Facial Oil. This is lovely. I cannot wait to use this. From Belief, I have the Aqua Bomb Jelly Cleanser. This is 30 mils. I am not the biggest fan of jelly cleansers, but I don't know if I've tried this one. So we'll see. From Laneige, I have a little mini of the water sleeping mask. This is 15 mils. One of my favorite eye creams by Belief is the moisturizing eye balm. I freaking love this stuff. It's so good. Last product for blue is by Ole Henriksen. This is their glow dark spot toner. And I think this is like an acid toner because it says it's got high potency AHA. So that's how I'll use this. And those are all the blues. Next color is pink and I have several makeup items here. For Maybelline, I have the Lash Sensational Full Fan Effect Mascara. I heard good things about this mascara, so we'll see. This is from Grande. It's the Grande Fanatic Fanning and Curling Mascara. This is infused with wide lash. I don't know what that is, but we'll try it. From Lositon, I have a Beauty Milk. This is in, I have no idea what this is. It seems like to be a floral scent. I think I've had this a really long time, so I want to use it. From Glow Recipe, I have the Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Dew Drops. I used one of these this year. It was okay, so I'm just going to get that one out. By Biosance, I have the Squalene and Vitamin C Rose Oil. It's this little like four and a half mil thing. I don't love this product just because I have other vitamin C that I love, but I can use this in combination with that. From Too Faced, I have the Better Than Sex Little Mini Mascara. So three mascaras in this category. From Too Faced, I have the Primed and Peachy Cooling Matte Skin Perfecting Primer. This will be a summer primer for me because I've used like as many of this and I didn't love it, but I want to get this one out. From Grace and Stella, I have the F Balm This Works Cleansing Balm. A lot of cleansing balms on this project. I probably won't be putting any in any other projects or rolling stuff from this one into like prompt based project projects. But yeah, there's there's a lot of balm balm cleansers in here. I go through a lot of balm cleansers, but could be a little bit like end of the wire. 
We'll see. And then, let's see, from Josie Marin, I have the Whipped Argan Oil in Winter Gardenia. This is a smaller size. I think this is their four ounce. Yeah, four ounce. And then lastly, this is kind of like a peachy pink by EOS. This is their lip balm. And this one is in Lychee Martini. We'll see if this one's better than the last one. I, I panned one of these last year. I so far like that scent better than the grapefruit I did last year. That was all the pink. Moving on to purple. From First Aid Beauty, I have the KP Bump Eraser Body Scrub. I'm so excited to start using this. I'm in, I'm needing something like this right now. And yeah, we'll see. I, I do enjoy this product. Or I enjoy products like this for my KP. From Tatcha, I have the Silk Canvas. I have this little deluxe size sample. Not It's not the smallest one they offered, but it's like in the mid-range. It's seven grams. So we'll see if I can get through this. I don't think I've started to use this. No. Such a nice, nice product. From Soon, I have the Pomegranate Hydrogel Eye Patches with Collagen. From Tarte, I have the Lights Camera Lashes Mascara, one of my favorites. From Chapstick, I have the Total Hydration Lip Care in Wild Acai Berry. More chapsticks. From Solana MD, I have the Healthy Base Layer Vitamin D Enriched Skin Cream. Trying to figure out if this is a moisturizer or a primer. No, it's a moisturizer. So this will go into the one bin over here. From Pharmacy, I have another one of these like green clean makeup melt away cleansing balms. This is in Blueberry Burst. The third one in that trio from this year. Another balm cleanser by Clinique. I have the Take the Day Off cleansing balm. Freaking love Holy Grail will always repurchase. Always. And then from Kate Somerville, no, I have two more. From Kate Somerville, I have the Goat Milk Moisturizing Cleanser. This is a deluxe size that has one fluid ounce or 30 mils. And then lastly for purple, another one of these spun gel body buffers. This is in Lavender. It's Botanica by spun gel. Uh, it's all the purple. Moving on to, let's do white. From Tatcha, I have the Camilla Cleansing Oil. Love this product so much. I don't think it's worth the price, but it's beautiful. This is a 50 mil size. From Clarence, I have the Moisture Rich Body Lotion. This is a deluxe size sample that I think I got in my advent calendar last year. Valerie loves this stuff. Loves it. She bought like three of these at the at TJ Maxx whenever I was hanging out with her. Or I think I bought her one and then she bought a bunch. <laughs> Anyway, I'm using this, hopefully. This one I've had in my collection forever. It's the Creme de la Mer La Mer Moisturizing Cream. I mean, I need to use this guy. Hopefully it's not. It's fine. I need to use it. It's an expensive product. From Kate Somerville, I have the Cold Cream Moisturizing Cleanser. I'm very intrigued by this. I don't think she makes this anymore, but this seemed to be a really interesting product because I like products like this. So I'm interested to try. I'm intrigued. From Shiseido, I have the Benefiance Wrinkle Smoothing Eye Cream. And then I also have from Shiseido, the Ultimune Eye Power Infusing Eye Concentrate. So two eye products from Shiseido. From Rituals, I have the Ritual of Namaste Glow Radiance Anti-Aging Serum. This is pretty, pretty, it's 10 mils, pretty decent size. From MAC, I have the strobe cream. I think I had this in for silver last year, but you know, it's kind of white. From Sunday Rally, I have the Good Jeans Lactic Acid Treatment. I love this product so much. And then lastly, I have another product from Tatcha. It's their The Essence. This is a really nice essence. I love this one. And that was all the white. Moving on to brown, from Ellis Brooklyn, I have a 10 mil perfume. This is in Super Amber. From Estee Lauder, I have the Revitalizing Supreme Youth Power Creme Moisturizer. This is a full size by Clarence. I have the Double Serum. I love this product, love it. And I have two of them, so I wanna get use on one, finish one this year. 
from Estee Lauder, I have the Advanced Net Repair Synchronized Multi Recovery Complex. I have a bunch of these, so I'm rolling them into a bunch of pro projects. I have one in my Nightmare on Painting Street now, and then we have this one to finish next year. I have a little tiny little mini. This is kind of a gimme. By May Lindstrom, I have the Youth Do. I have another perfume from Elizabeth and James, the Nirvana Bourbon. This is a 10 mil. I actually have an atomizer that I just used for Nirvana, Nirvana bourbon. So I will probably put this to can some of this in there instead of cleaning that one out because I, it's the same scent. From Estee Lauder, I have the Advanced Night Repair Eye Supercharged Complex Synchronized Recovery. I love this product. I have several of these little deluxe eye samples. I'm just going to check it and make sure it's still good. It is. This is a, a smaller sample. I think this is three mils. Yeah, three mils. And then I have three makeup items here from Blink. I have the Ultra Volume Tubing Mascara. We'll see how that is. And then I have two lippies from Tom Ford. I have the lip color in Addison. This is part of the Boys and Girls. And I have already used this and this is all that's left. So I want to finish this. And then this is a teeny tiny little mini by, this is also the lip color, but this is the matte formula and fascinator this came as part of a set from the nordstrom anniversary sale last year i think and that's i haven't touched this one these will be more like summer colors so i want to finish these two moving on to the last color which is black i don't think any of these are full sizes this is a deluxe size of the rituals the ritual of oud Foaming shower gel. This has oud and patchouli. That sounds delightful to me. The next item I have is by Touch and Soul. This is the liquid foundation for moisture and nourishing skin. I think it's Advanced Real Moisture is the name of the product. I've had this forever. Uh, this does this have shade? I think it's a tinted moisturizer. Anyway, want to finish that. Let's see, by YSL, I have the Instant Moisture Glow. This is Top Secrets. I think this is a glowy primer, but I could be wrong. I'll have to do some investigating. From MAC, I have another one of these little minis of the, this is the Natural Radiance Based Lumiere. From Kat Von D, I have the Ink Liner in Trooper Black. So it's not the, the, Tattoo liner, it's the ink liner. I honestly don't know what the difference is. Is it the style of the tip of the product? I don't know. Then from Makeup Forever, I have the Ultra HD Skin Booster. It's the Hydra Plump Serum. I mean, is this makeup or is this skincare? I don't know. I'm putting it with my skincare, but I may have to, I may move it around. From Makeup Forever, I have... A, also from Makeup Forever, I have the Ultra HD Micro Finishing Loose Powder. I've had this for ages. It's this little mini. This has one gram. From It Cosmetics, I have the Bye Bye Pores Pressed Airbrush Silk Pressed Anti-Aging Finishing Powder. This little thing. I think I've used one of these before. Not recently though. But here it is. It has this little puffy thing. And there's the powder. It has a little thing on top of it. There we go. There's the powder. And the last item is by MAC. This is the Studio Fix Powder. And it's the shade NC20. Let's see if I can open this. And here's the little baby. <laughs> I don't love this powder, but I can use it. I can use this little mini. And that is everything. Woo! 35 minutes. We'll see how long it, I can edit it down to. But anyway, that is everything for this project. I will leave anybody else who I know that is doing this project for 2023 down in the description box. Like I said, I know Valerie's doing it, but I don't know of anybody else. So if you're doing this project, leave your information down below and I'll add you to my description box. But anyway, that is going to be it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you're doing well and staying safe. Please hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. 
Hey guys, it's Jaylon. Welcome or welcome back. I am so excited today to share with you my introduction for this year's 100 Colorful. This is a project that was original. Uh, slow down, Jaylon. I didn't do this last year, but I decided to do this yes, <laughs> yes year. <laughs> Another moisturizer from It Cos Cosmetics <laughs> from Ole Henriksen. I have the Glow O H. Huh. From and, and then last from just from good jeans I have the I'm sorry, not good jeans. <laughs> no. I have several um oh. the next item I have is by Soul in No, not Soul in Touch. <laughs> okay, bye.